birthday ko may iwatin ilang marangay pinalangan ilang hilo kamarin so 51 years old ako si Mrs. Joy Itilang kasi asawa ako ni Mr. Rosteco Itilang siya yung pasyente ng Bicol Access para sa traumatic cataract under Mr. Nitan Good day everyone. My name is Dr. Lee Thomas Obias Pan. I am a ophthalmologist. I graduated from the College of Medicine and took my training in the Philippine General Hospital. I've been practicing um, since the year 2020 and now I practice ophthalmology here in Naga City. Uh, ophthalmology is the practice of eye diseases and eye surgery. Uh, the common diseases of the eye, error for fractions, cataract, iridiums, uh, trauma, these are all just some of the things that we do as ophthalmologists. So cataract is um, actually the uh, opacification of the natural lens of the eye. So let's go back, no? The natural lens of the eye. Every person has a lens. So, if this is the eye, from front to back, let's cut it in half, no? like a buho no? or a coconut. When it's cut in half, this is the front and this is the back. Right behind the cornea or the crystal in front of your eye is the natural lens. When we are younger, in youth, it's clear. But as we age, proteins develop into the lens and it forms into what we call cataract. Some cataracts are light in color and some are a little more dense. Now aging is the most common risk factor for cataract, but other things may cause it too. Risk factors such as diabetes, sometimes trauma. And sometimes, in trauma, it causes the cataract to go very, very white. We call those traumatic cataracts. Well, of course, there are a number of symptoms that you can have uh, to know if you have cataract. The first is the blurring of vision. What kind of blurring of vision? One is a cloudy type of vision. That's one of the most common way of describing it when they have cataract. Some people have difficulty driving at night, especially when the headlights are hitting their eye. They start having glare, halos. Uh, when the lights are dim, it's harder for them to read. There are many other ways to describe the blurring of vision with cataract, but the most ideal way to know if you really, really have cataract is to have a checkup by a certified ophthalmologist. So there are many causes of cataract, and we mentioned that aging is one of the most common. But sometimes there are a little uncommon risk factors, and one of which is trauma. In this case, our patient had an electric injury. The electric injury caused the formation of a traumatic cataract to the eye. So as you can see, it's very, very white in nature. Um, because of the electric injury, the natural lens proteins become disrupted and the formation of cataract is faster than normal. For our patient, it only took less than a month for the cataract to form after the injury. Uh, these cataracts are a little special, they're a little more difficult to treat, but after the procedure, careful phacoemulsification, we were able to remove the cataract and place a lens inside the eye. Phacoemulsification is the modern mode of removing cataract from the eye. So, FACO emulsification uses a special machine which uses ultrasound power. 
Now, this hour is able to debulk the nucleus or the cataract itself. We cut it into small pieces and using a vacuum power, remove the remaining cataract through small incisions. So we no longer have to open the eye. And after, we're able to remove the cataract. Through the small incisions, we're able to inject an intraocular lens that's foldable and vacuum the remaining material into the eye, close the wounds, and there we go. That's cataract surgery via phaco emulsification. So once again, I'm Dr. Lee Tomas of Stan, your board-certified ophthalmologist. For any questions, come over here at Beacle Access Health Centrum Eye Center for any of your eye concerns. We'll be happy to come and see you and treat you. See you here.